hi there once again welcome to my channel my name is timothy and in this tutorial i'm going to show you how to use conditional formatting in excel so basically there are several ways in which you can visualize data using excel but conditional formatting allows you to use options such as color coding to visualize your data so i'm going to show you how we can easily do that using this particular data i have in my worksheet okay so the entire document like i said in my previous tutorial is called workbook and we can easily create individual worksheets so in this particular document i'm going to show you how you can visualize this data so we have sales for from january towards september so we can easily visualize to see individuals who are able to make sales more than four thousand so we want to check people who are even making sales more than four thousand dollars per month okay so how then do we do that using excel this is where we use conditional statements so when i select this data from january highlight all this all the way to september to use the conditional formatting i can just go to do my home tab i'll just click on conditional formatting we have what highlight sales rules so with this i want to know who is earning more than four thousand okay i want people who is earning more than four thousand dollars per month okay or people who are generating sales more than four thousand dollars per month so with highlight sales rules i'll just greater down when i click on this greater down sign i'll just have to type what four thousand so look at this initially after typing the four thousand notice that the sales was over 4,000 sales have been highlighted. I can even change the color. I can even use yellow to highlight or even green color. Okay, so you notice from this particular selection, I've been able to detect based on monthly, the monthly sales. I can easily pick up those who have been able to mix sales more than what 4,000. When you come down here, you notice that for the month of January, I can easily denote that. William made a sales more than 4,000. Victor made a sales more than what 4,000. Take note of this 4,000 is not more than 4. I want 4,000 or more. Okay, people made sales more than 4,000. That's why 4,000 is not selected. So it could be 4,000 and something. 4,000 is not included. So I want greater than. So that's what I'm trying to do. That is why within this sale of January, 4,000 is here but not highlighted. I want 4,000 or more. So I have William and then Victor. So William and Victor, with the month of January, they've been able to make sales more than four thousand. If you come to February, only Victor make a sales of four thousand. If you come to the month of March, we have Florence making sales more than four thousand. <coughs> Elizabeth makes sales for four thousand. April, in that order. So you notice, within every month, we can easily detect or see who make a sales more than four thousand. So basically this is how to use conditional formatting we can equally use the same process to also find out people who make a certain amount or less so if i select this time around then i go back to conditional formatting the same highlight sales rules i can easily go to less than so if i go to less than let's say we want to see people making sales more than less than two thousand okay people making sales more than two thousand so this one's we want sales that have been generated less than 2000 and we let's use a different color so let's stick to this color when i click ok so the sales highlighted with red indicates people are, who are generating sales less than what 2000 remember we said less than 2000 so 2000 is no part so when it come to the month of january we see florence making a source of thousand which is less than 2000 Robinson making sales of thousand seven dollars, which is basically less than two thousand. And if we come to the various columns, we can easily see those the figures highlighted are all less than two thousand. So basically, this is what you can do with conditional format. We have some presets in which I'm going to talk about. So when I highlight everything once again, and we come to presets under conditional formatting, you notice under preset we have bar, we have data bar, we have color skills and then color sets but remember there are several options that you can use 
using conditional formatting so you can try any of those ones on your own i'm going to leave the saw i'm going to leave the file at the description so that you can easily download and then use okay so what is going to happen is that you may have you can easily check values that are greater less than or between equal to text that contains and in that order but let's look at some of the presets so you can look at data bars so data bar we just use colors to indicate so you see the higher the value you see could generate a bar for you a data bar that will indicate the size of the value so if i use this data bar anytime i point my finger you could see the, the the ones with high values will be indicated will be having longer bar so you can easily use the data bar to also visualize your data okay see values having the highest percentage will show having a longer bar in that order okay so this is how the data bar will work for you you can also have the color scale so the color scale will indicate and you see those with higher values value so you can easily use the color scale as well they also have the icon set so you can also try the icon set and then apply some icons to your values okay so it will show so notice once i'm using the icon set everything i've been turned into a hash key because i don't have enough space so anytime you experience this and you try to open a space before you've been able to get your values back so you the source meaning the source size is too small to contain your figure that's why you're having that so you can easily have your bar using the icon set you can easily have your icons indicating your value you could see those value with lower percentage or lower figures will be indicating like reduction so you see the arrow pointing down those with higher figures you see the green see the green arrow moving up the green arrow moving up in that order so this is how to use the icons okay so this is where we have the icon set so you can try all the options available to test how these figures will be displayed so like i said conditional formatting allow you to visualize data in using different different ways to do that so i have tried almost most of the preset for you to see i've mentioned the data but see how the data bar is going to use so this will basically use something like a bar chart a bar chart so the longer the bar you know the higher the figure okay and we have the color set as well so the color will also give different color highlighting to your figures based on the color based on the size of your value so basically this is just a highlight to conditional formatting okay this is a brief description of conditional formatting remember you need to subscribe to this channel and don't forget to turn on the notification bell in order to get updates anytime i upload a new content so i'm going to leave this particular excel file at the bottom or the yeah i'm going to leave it at the bottom of this tutorial as part of the description i'm going to leave this so far as part of the description so remember to download it and then try your hands on remember to download it and try your hands on the conditional format and look at how best this is going to work for you so you notice with the icon set you can try any of the icons available and to see how this is going to work for you okay so try any of them to see basically how to use icons colors to is eas easily format or visualize your data in excel okay so at least we've tried most of the presets as you can see to like come your way another time just continue to share my video with friends and i'm continuing to go into do amazing content for you i am working on currently working on an amazing video and spss it's a bit long it is going to be a it's going to be a comprehensive tutorial in spss and i believe you are not going to miss that because it's going to cover everything you need to know in spss so remember to stay tuned on this channel and share this video continue to subscribe and leave your comment at the comment section for me thank you so much for watching this tutorial bye bye